So my introduction to the healthcare system happened uh, six years ago. My son was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and he was three. And the autoimmune disease causes painful swelling in the joints. It can lead to disability and, in rare cases, blindness. And um, we were told that he would struggle with this for the rest of his life. We started him on medication. The medication, though, didn't seem to do much for his arthritis. And at the same time, it made him feel really sick. He would spend a couple days a week lying on the couch um, every week after taking his medication. And as a mom, I looked at this and thought, I cannot accept that this is going to be his life. Um, so we ended up hearing from another mom about something she had tried with her own child that helped. And after talking it over with our doctor, it centered around taking certain foods out of his diet, gluten and dairy. After talking it over with our doctor, he was comfortable that we weren't taking any risks. So we gave it a shot. And uh, I was in the habit at that point of going into my son's room um, to help him out of bed. So he's a little three-year-old guy and he uh, needed help getting out of bed. Six weeks after we started this experiment, I went in there and he said, mommy, my knees don't hurt anymore. And he sprang out of bed and he was on his way. And I think there's, there's been a difference. So when we first saw, uh, we saw other doctors for other second opinions and you know, this one woman said, diet does not work. Um, and, uh, and I think, I mean, we have not gone back to her. I'm, I, I doubt her opinion has changed. But, um, but I have seen a sort of openness uh, among other, just in talking to people while I was working on the book. Where, and I think it's being driven by all the microbiome research where, as you're well aware, we are learning that this population of bacteria is a key factor in our health. Well, what's the one thing that or one of the main ways we can affect that bacteria is by what we eat, and either for the bad or for the good. And so um, I think that that has given the idea that a diet could affect an autoimmune disease a lot of legitimacy. We're not there yet, we haven't proven it, but there are a lot of indications that there's a real connection. I wrote about a range of people, parents and, and people who are fighting for themselves, but, um, so, but I can understand the persistence in both cases. Um, and for me, it really wasn't something I thought about. It was just how things were. And that it, and in fact, there, I asked the people I wrote about, why, how do you maintain hope? How do you keep going? And one of the moms said, because she's not better yet. So it wasn't really, it had nothing to do with the odds of success. It was just because that's, because she's sick. And, um, the woman who developed this allergy therapy, I asked that question of, and she said, I said, well, why would you, you have no medical background. What made you think that you were gonna come up with the solution when everyone else is stumped? And um, she said, well, that's not how I think. I think, what do I wanna do? You know what, uh, when you exhaust all the answers that medicine has for you, there might still be something out there for you.